Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Constable, the light's in my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. The uh, truth is, you gave me quite a start. Yes, a terrible night, isn't it? You see, I had to leave my car, and now I seem to be quite lost. Oh, where are you making for? Well, if you could direct me to the Tower of London, I would know my way from there. The Tower? Yes, that's easy enough. <laughs> No, my lady. Uh, just a touch of chloroform. Splendid. Get him out of sight and fetch the equipment. I'll take a look at the problem. should take care of the outer door. Very good, lady. I'll fix the alarm. Good work, Parker. The warning systems are on the same circuit. Most obliging of them, madam. Parker. Yes, lady. Quickly. Good. We're right on time. Take cover, Parker.
we have work to do. Plenty of time. I think we might have a bit of ash, milady. I'm sorry, Parker, but if you used a modern detector, you might... A stethoscope, ma'am, was good enough for my father, and for my father's father, and before him, my father's... Yes, yes, all right, Parker. It was just a suggestion. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. How much longer? Just one more, milady. Twenty-five minutes, exactly. There you are, Your Lordship. We carried out your instructions to the letter. What can I say, Lady Penelope? For years, the Board of Governors have refused my request for a new, modern, up-to-date safe. But now, well, I have positive proof that this strong room is just uh, not good enough. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I would agree that I have a rare talent. One that you might say one has, or then again, does not has. Stopping job of work, my man. The bank will get a new vault for this. <laughs> Jolly good show. What? Any time, your lordship. Any time. Yes, Parker. But I think that will be all. Well, we really must be on our way now. I do hope you'll be able to keep the dinner invitation. Oh, of course I shall, Lady Penelope. It'll be a pleasure to dine with you. Come along, Parker. Coming, lady. And thanks once again for all you've done. Only too glad to be of assistance. Uh, ex uh, excuse me, sir, but I have quite correct in assuming, am I not, that you will take care of any trouble arising out of this incident. I shall answer for everything. There's no need to worry. Oh, thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Uh, right. Goodbye. 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 Now, I wonder what sort of trouble he had in mind. I'm very pleased with you, Parker. You did extremely well. Oh, thank you for saying so, Belady. You certainly have a way with safes. Thank goodness so few people share your talent. Few indeed, Belady. Half and I could only think of one other expert capable of such a job. Oh, and may I ask his name? You may, Belady, but it's of little consequence. He's retired, at least for the duration. <laughs>
And I'm delighted that the new vault has been installed so quickly. We must talk more about it over dinner tonight. I'd love to, Lady Penelope. I'll see you tonight then. Goodbye. Bye. Ah, Lovegrove. I've uh, put the Brinkley report figures on your desk, sir. What, already? Uh, Lambert was working on them, sir. His concentration is quite terrifying. Lambert, eh? Oh, yes, I know the fella. Chappy who absolutely buries himself in his work. Gets through ten times as much as anybody else. Yes. Could do with a few more like him. Oh, indeed one could, sir, yes. Take a look at this. Fantastic, isn't it, Lovegrove? Here we are, standing inside the Bank of England. Outside, it appears just as it was two, three, four centuries ago. And yet down here, we have the strongest, most modern vault in the entire world. Oh, quite fantastic, Your Lordship. Indeed so, sir. One does, of course, deplore change. Oh, of course one does, sir. But it is nevertheless comforting to know that all England's deeds, monies and documents are safely under lock and key. Most comforting indeed, sir. Especially when one considers that I have the only electronic key and that I carry it with me wherever I go. Any more to come, Lovegrove? I'm dining at a stately home tonight. Don't want to be late, you know. I think they're all here, sir. Call the roll then, eh? There's a good chap. At once, Your Lordship. Taylor? Present, Mr. Lovegrove. Carter? Yes, sir. Moore? Moore? Yes, yes, here. Longman? Present, sir. Lambert? Lambert? Well, he did leave the vault earlier, Mr. Lovegrove. I see. Very well. Barrett? Yes, sir. All present and accounted for, sir. Good, good. Now all that remains is to close the vault. Lovegrove, we can rest assured that nobody will ever break into here. Quite, sir. Quite. It's a great engineering achievement. I especially approve of the way the air is pumped out of the vault, sir. Papers keep so much better in a vacuum. Well, that appears to be it. You do, of course, have the key, sir. It's in my case, Lovegrove. And this case never leaves my side. Good night, Lovegrove. Good night, sir. I doubt if that door will be open for at least another two years. Everywhere else, and Lambert's still missing. Perhaps he is locked in the vault. Mm, I gave orders I was not to be disturbed. These figures must be finished. Hello. 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 Uh, perhaps I'll get some peace and quiet now. He's in there, all right, but he's rung off. 
Lambert always did bury himself in his work. You'll get no Look at the indicator. In another two hours, all the air will be pumped out. We can't stop it, and we can't open the vault. Contact Lord Silton. He has the key. He said something about dining at a stately home. I, I don't know where. Oh, dear, oh dear. I'll have to use the emergency call system. Well, here's to you, Lady Fidelity. Still can't thank you enough for all you did. Oh, it was nothing. And anyway, Parker must take most of the credit. A real treasure, that man of yours. Wish I could find someone like him. Knows his place, dresses well. Sort of fellow you could take anywhere. Ain't you got my grub ready yet, Lil? What's the matter with you? I've only got one pair of hands, ain't I? Wasting your time here, girl. If you got more, <laughs> you'd make a few bob in a circus, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh -huh. What are you getting for their nibs, then? It's none of your business. Hello, hello. You want to keep your shirt on? Oh, Ark, who's talking? Still, don't blame you not telling me. If I cook like you, I wouldn't shout about it, neither. Now, listen here, nosy. Hey, manners, manners. Mr. Parker, if you don't mind. All right, then, Mr. Nosy Parker. I've been slaving over this all day. Oh, come off it, Lou. I was only pulling your leg. What you done for them? Well, I'm starting them off with a drop of consom. Oh, audible load of old rubbish. Uh, then a special uh, escalope receipt, uh, with all the trimmings, of course. Muck. Gives me heartburn just to look at it. And then they can finish off with their old crepey Suzettes and uh, coffee how they like it. Crepey? Cra yeah, well, they're welcome to it. Hey, what you got for me, then? Stew. Oh, me favourite. I spoil you, don't I? Here you are, here's your paper. I know how you like a read while you're eating. Ah, <sighs> well... Cool. Strike me feet! Light finger Fred's art! how pleased I am that you were able to accept my invitation to dinner, Lord Silton. The pleasure is all mine, Lady Penelope. So rarely am I able to get away from my duties at the Bank of England. You rang, madam? Yes. You may serve coffee now, Parker. Yes, milady. Would you like Parker to take your briefcase? No, thank you. It never leaves my side, you know. Everywhere I go. Good heavens. What's that noise? What is it? It's the emergency call system. I'm wanted at the bank immediately. Emergency? You mean the bank is being robbed? It could be. Beg your baby! You clumsy nincompoop! Parker! Excuse the outburst, Lady Penelope. Oh, that's perfectly all right. But it was rather hot. Uh, I'm sorry, milady, uh, sir. I don't know what came over me. It must be a sudden shock. Well, go and get something to clean up this mess. I'm terribly sorry, Lord Silton. No time for apologies. I must ring the bank immediately. <laughs> Yes? Lord Silton is coming through on the video phone now. Oh, at last. Now we'll be able to find out the trouble.
Ah, Lovegrove. Now, what's all this emergency call about, eh? We've been cut off. Parker. Yes, milady. Uh, I've uh, been uh, pruning the roses, madam. Get the Rolls Royce out, Parker. We're taking Lord Silton to London. Don't worry. We'll have you there in no time. My car is capable of phenomenal speeds. <laughs> It's a very smooth ride. It feels as though we're hardly moving. Parker. Can't understand why we're going so slow, madam. I have my foot hard down. I don't know what you're up to, but get us to London, quickly. <laughs> Ninety minutes left and no sign of Lord Sultan. They'll have to call for outside help. International rescue, your call is received. This is top priority, urgent. There is a man trapped in the Bank of England vault. Go ahead, John. Emergency call from London, England. Requesting immediate action. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, John. I'll get you to brief Scott. There's very little time on this one. If I be, I'll clear the air and remain on standby. Ah, oh, boys, good. Scott, leave immediately. Destination, England. John will brief you as soon as you're on your way. Yes, sir. Rescue to Thunderbird 1. Your landing point, City of London heliport. Message received and understood, Tintin. I've received the details of the emergency from John. Request Thunderbird 2 with part 5. Okay, Scott. Request granted. One thing more, Father. I reckon Virgil will need some help with this one. Leave it with me. Sure. I'll keep in touch. Hmm. Help for Virgil. And things have been kind of quiet on the space front. I'll give Alan a chance of seeing some action. Okay, Virgil, away you go. Pod five. Alan will be joining you. Okay, Father.
International rescue or not, they'll never get Lambert out now. I'm glad you're here, Mr. Tracy, but with due respect, I can't see what we can do. Unless we can get the key, and there's only one hour left. Well, we're not often beaten, Mr. Lovegrove. The equipment will be arriving any minute. rescue from space station thunderbird 2 has landed safely scott reports that owing to the underground cables and communications in london the mole cannot be used if they can't tunnel their way in they'll never rescue that poor man don't worry tintin the boys will burn their way through the door i promise you it will take years to get through it won't take that long with our equipment but will it be fast enough <laughs> to Lord Silton. for your explanation, Parker. I, I, I seem to have lost my way, milady. Lost your way to London? Yes, ma'am. Step outside, Parker. I want a word with you. Now, why are you so intent on stopping Lord Silton getting to the bank, Parker? Me? Milady? Yes, you. I can see now that it was you who put the video phone out of action. Pruning roses, indeed. Now, suppose you explain, hmm? Parker, I'm waiting. Well, uh, it's... Oh, all right, milady. It all began the last time I was away. In prison, you mean? <clears throat> well, if you were, uh, what to put it that way, belated? Uh, I shared a cell with a gentleman known to the trade as Light Fingered Fred. As a matter of fact, it was him I referred to as being the only other soul capable of doing that safe job for his lordship. Go on, Parker. Well, I was resting on my bunk one day when Fred said, Here, nosy. What's the matter now? What are you going to do when you get out? Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it much. No, nah, no. Nah. Listen, listen. I think it's important. I mean, it's only right that a bloke should have ambition, I mean. Look, I don't want to waste these ten years I'm doing. You know, 
I, I, I'm going to learn from them, Nosy. Oh, planning for the future, are you, Fed? Yeah, that's right. That's it exactly. Learn from your mistakes. Now, there comes a time... ...in every man's life when he knows what he's got to do. Look, I may not have been a friend of society up till now, but I'm going to reform and settle down. Just as soon as I knocked off the Bank of England. You... You... You robbed the Bank of England? Not all. Oh, you mark my words. I shall break into the vault and I personally will do the Bank of England. So you, you see, ma'am, this emergency could be light-figured Fred carrying out his threat. Not necessarily. But it could be. It isn't right, lady, that I should be the one to ruin an old colleague's life ambition. Well, we haven't time to argue, Nosey, uh, Parker. But if you feel like this, I shall drive us to London. Reverse! There was no need to shout, Lord Silton. You see, we're going quite smoothly now. Oh, we are, madam. But backwards. We're approaching a tree, madam. Ma madam, it is a tree. There's a tree to be! <laughs> Okay, hold it. Look at this. We're not going to get through in the time, Scott. I know. But take a look at this plan of the vault. There's definitely a weak spot underneath. Yeah, but we've already established that we can't tunnel in. Yeah, it looks as though we're beaten this time. I'll get down to headquarters, see if they can come up with anything. Oh, just 30 minutes left. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Getting hot in here. Oh, well, I may as well finish these off, though, before I go home. So you can't cut through the door? Well, not in the available time. We've, uh, we've just got to come up from below. Any suggestions, Brains? Well, I, I, not at this uh, moment, Mr. Tracy. There must be an answer somewhere. And I think I know what it is. You, Grandma? You want to come out the ground, but you can't use them all. That the problem? You got it. Well, it seems I remember when I was a little girl, my grandma talking about the old London subway. Trains under the ground. New York had them as well. Of course, that was before this newfangled overhead monorail system. Hey, you may have something there. Scott, check and see if those subway tunnels are still in existence. Look, uh, Piccadilly Circuit. Yeah, sure is a change from being up in space. Come on, this way. Ten minutes. That's all there's left. Any news of the guy who's got the key? <laughs> One made him shortcuts.
We made it. The Bank of England. Let's find the elevator shaft. Oh, I can hardly breathe. I must get, must get out. Must get out. Let's get to work. Three minutes. We failed. Fellas. We'll be through any time. Must. Sultan, we'd given up hope. Lambert is trapped in the vault. There's just seconds left. Quickly, sir. The electronic key. The key? Yes, sir. The one you always have with you in your briefcase. Uh, uh, briefcase? It never leaves your side. Remember? Oh, oh, um, oh, that briefcase. <laughs> I, um, I um, must have left it at Lady Penelope's. One of your hair clips, the lady, if you would be so kind. Parker, this is no time for flippancy. Couldn't be more serious, milady. They haven't built a safe yet that nosy Parker can't open. <laughs> Get me <laughs> faster. Rescue. We're through. Who... Who are you? You okay? Guess we just made it. We're international rescue. International rescue? Well, I, 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 I knew you were highly efficient, but this is ridiculous. I'm, af I'm afraid I've... Ruin your air pin, my lady. Parker, you're an old rascal. Yes, my lady. Did you see that, Lovegrove? 
The Bank of England vault opened with a hairpin? Outrageous. Oh, indeed, sir. Outrageous, sir. Right, now, I'll just take it easy. The danger's over now. <laughs> Virgil and Alan made it okay, but we sure wish you'd arrived earlier, Parker. I have to have something done about this vault, Lovegrove. Can't have chats with hairpins wandering in and out. Oh, indeed, sir. I couldn't agree more, sir. It'll mean fitting a new safe. We could do worse than go back to the old one. At least that took him two and a half hours. Parker. Yes, lady. There's one thing about this business that bothers me still. Oh? What's that, lady? Why on earth did that old safe take you so long to open when the new one only took seconds? Oh, well, oh, that, lady. Oh, yes, well, I mean, the first time we had an audience, didn't we? I mean, there's only one rule that must never be broken. Never disappoint your public. I see, Parker. I'm uh, sorry about the uh, misunderstanding, madam. Forget it, Parker. I'll say no more about it. Oh, thank you, lady. Uh, it wasn't anything to do with light fingered Fred, after all. Lavender. They call this place burglar proof. They do better to use my kid's piggy bank. <laughs> 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 